the first day of my advent calendar. Now, in preparation for all of those small gifts I'm hoping to receive, I designed my own Christmas stocking, and I thought you might like to see the design process. Now, I really like this graphic of a sweater which I used on my calendar, so I used it as inspiration. For the leg part of the stocking, where the design is going to be, I needed 37 stitches, so I made a simple chart on my computer with 37 columns, adding rows where I needed them. And then, using the graphic on the left for reference, I copied the design of the reindeer, basically drawing with the little squares. This design is for the leg section of the stocking. Now, I cannot give you the pattern for the foot of the stocking as I'm using a Dutch pattern which I did not make myself. However, you can buy the pattern and translate it if you need to. Google has a fantastic translation app where you can just take a photo of the text and it will translate it into any language you like. And I have translated a full-scale Danish knitting pattern this way, and it works perfectly. And it's free. <laughs> now, when I was happy with the design and the colors of the reindeer head, I just copied it to the other side of the chart, so I'd have the same design on both sides of the stocking. I then tweaked the design a little more, so that the reindeer would be in the middle. I added some yellow dots to the top as well. And I decided on a blue background for the stocking. The design is finished. And as you can see, I made two, two different colors. And the one on the right here is based on this sweater graphic, which I really, really liked. And, um, the one on the left had the has more of the original colors that are in my um, in my pages uh, application. The one I used for making this design, but I'll make a few more. Um, I think I will use uh, make one with uh, more Christmassy colors like reds and greens and golds and whites. And here are my threads. Um, this is wool, 100% wool, organic wool, and uh, it's by a Dutch company called Venne. Uh, and I've also got the white, of course, and some really lovely yellow gold, which I'll use as well. I just have to cast on some stitches first. finished I really like it um, it is not an easy pattern to knit because there's a lot of colors and there's a lot of counting involved so I did have to fix a mistake here and there but um, it's doable I'm not a I don't knit a lot so um, yeah I could do it so you can do it too if you want to knit this pattern then uh, I'll leave a link in the description below 
where you can download it for your own use. So happy knitting and until next time. <laughs>